Well, it's a it's an emotional roller coaster. There's no doubt about that for the for the staff um, on a, on a number of levels. You've got to be very aware of it that it's not only one species, it's a multiple of species, you know, whether it's a rhino species or, or, or any other thing such as an elephant and so forth. So um, it is an issue. It's still a very, very high valued um, product that is poached. Um, and then when they get into that species and there's a high value on it, it's, 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 it can lead to, to serious problems for those populations. So I'm certainly hoping that we will have the ability to put sensors throughout this park and that they all work and we'll be able to react to them. So that, that's the plan. We've taken these old technologies, which is actually so simple, and we've merged it with these newer Azure um, cognitive services. And it enabled us to actually filter out so many photos. If it picks up a human, it will actually create an alert with a GPS coordinate and a photo, which is quite powerful. For Peacebox Foundation, I work as a project manager in coordinating the, our combating wildlife crime programs. I think where that's, what's proven very valuable is that in-depth knowledge that, that we've been able to have access to through this partnership. What it's done is it's, it's transformed the way that we think about systems and technologies. A lot of the time you're very limited to the amount of things you can do, things are very fragmented. And what it's allowed us to do is to centralise a lot of that information, throw away the irrelevant information, only send on stuff that's pertinent to managers on the ground. I think the goal is really to create a completely scalable digital nervous system or central nervous system that runs serverless. Without infrastructure, it can scale infinitely and to be able to use platform as services uh, and to really focus on what's relevant. Since we saw the opportunity to use Azure, it's taken us less than four weeks to actually implement a full working system. That would have been impossible for someone like myself to go and try and reprogram this. I mean, it's like trying to reinvent the wheel and they've actually created an awesome wheel.